Very dangerous commute home. A storm hitting in the east, another one about to hit in the west. And in the south tonight, multiple tornadoes. The picture's just coming in. An EF1 tornado confirmed outside Miami, which means winds about 100 miles an hour. Drivers there on I-95 in the middle of it all. And you will see the rescues in a moment playing out elsewhere. Meanwhile, the chain reaction crashes further north. A mix of rain and sleet, a coating of ice in Pennsylvania. I-81 outside Scranton, trucks and cars colliding. We begin tonight with ABC's Gio Benitez live along the West Side Highway here in New York City tonight. Gio, good evening. David, good evening to you. This storm has been pounding the East Coast all day long, from tornadoes in the south to dangerous high winds right here in the Northeast. Tonight, a dangerous commute home in the Northeast. In Philadelphia, winds over 50 miles an hour, knocking over this tractor trailer on the Walt Whitman Bridge, the threat extending all the way south. A violent tornado captured on camera in Pompano Beach, Florida. Watch as this driver approaches a massive twister. The street becomes an obstacle course. Security cameras catching the storm move in. Planters and debris becoming projectiles, even destroying that security gate. In all, 20 reported tornadoes across five states in 24 hours. Near Pensacola, a miraculous rescue. An elderly woman pulled from under the rubble after a tornado hit her home. The rescuers forming a human chain to get her out. Hallelujah. Just north of Scranton, Pennsylvania, a massive pileup. Eight tractor trailers slamming into each other on black ice and crushing small cars. Incredibly, only minor injuries. You know, I'm all shaken up, but from what I've seen, I, it's a miracle. And further north in Rochester, New York, wide out, nearly 18 inches of snow, making for a harrowing commute. Horrible. Uh, the way it's coming down now, fish tailing all the way down. In the air over the past 24 hours, more than 2,500 flights canceled and counting. More than 200 people stranded at the Philly airport, including a high school band from Michigan spending the night at the terminal. And David, you can still see it. The wind is still gusting here in New York. But the real concern tonight is flooding. And when temperatures drop, icy roads. And of course, as you know, that is what causes all of those accidents, David. Yeah, because it's so difficult to tell. Gio Benitez, thanks. Let's get right to Rob watching storms on both sides of this country tonight. First, Rob, the system right here in the east. It's been really dynamic, tremendous contrast in temperatures, really feeding this thing. And the low itself now is across the upstate New York. It'll be exiting into Quebec. The snows will wind down behind it. The front will push the squall lines off. Short, but very windy tonight, especially for East New England. So be aware of that. Here's that dramatic contrast of temperatures. Record cold Sunday morning, below zero into the 50s this morning. So a huge warm up, but we're cooling back down again tonight. So as Gio said, it's going to be some slick six spots in the morning. Just an incredible swing. In the meantime, in the West tonight, you're watching something else. Getting more active there now uh, with after a break in El Nino. Look at this storm. This one's a big one. It's going to impact the entire West Coast from Canada all the way down to Mexico. It arrives tomorrow afternoon with rain, wind, and some mountain snow. Not a ton of moisture for Southern California. We're still behind in the rain. Fall department for Los Angeles. All right, watching the West too, Rob. Thanks.